This video shows how to plant and brace a containerized tree correctly. Place the tree where you want to plant it. Noting the width of the tree's container, mark the outline of a planting hole that is two to three times wider than the root ball. Set the tree outside the potential hole. Determine the depth of the hole to be dug by measuring the depth of the root ball from the root flare to the bottom. Dig the hole, piling the soil evenly in a mound all around the outside of the hole. Keep in mind that the tree's root ball is flat on the bottom, not pointed. Check the depth frequently to avoid digging too deep. To remove the tree from its pot, cut any roots protruding from the sides or bottom of the container. Loosen the container with strong pats from the back side of a shovel on all sides of the container to help it slide out. Place the tree in the new hole. Look for a visible root flare where the trunk meets the soil. If this widening of the trunk is not visible, Expose the root flare of the uppermost root by removing excess soil. Verify that the root flare is at or above the surrounding soil level. If it is too low, remove the tree and add soil back to the hole and tamp it down. Position the tree so the upper trunk is straight. Using sharp clippers, saw, hand tool, or shovel, rough up the root ball to cut any circling roots on the sides or bottom of the root ball. Check for any girdling roots, even small ones, at the base of the trunk. Cut and remove. Backfill the hole with the native soil in stages, using water, tools, and your foot to make sure all the gaps are filled. Keep soil off of the top of the root ball. Place the tree with the root ball bracing method, working like a big staple on both sides of the root ball. Drive four two by two wooden stakes right next to the root ball until firmly in the soil, two on each side. Then place horizontal 2x2s cut to length across the top of the root ball on the insides of the stakes. With the top of the staple a few inches away from the trunk, use 3 inch drywall screws to attach to the vertical stakes. Cut the verticals off flush with the horizontal board using a reciprocating saw or hand saw. Then tamp each of the four stakes one more time just to ensure that this staple is in the ground securely. Place mulch in a donut type ring at the edge of the root ball, never next to the trunk. Remember to always leave a visible root flare. Remove all tapes, straps, and stakes, and water the tree well, and watch it grow.